What's up my lads and ladettes, this is Lace and we are back with another Genshin Impact video. Today we're going to be talking about the event shop, the last part, it's just recently opened and, and we've got the purchase limit numbers now. Also we've got the income of the Fading Star Essences per resin spent, so let's talk about efficiency. So from a pure efficiency perspective, everything in the shop is worth it. Obviously except for the last one because the last one always seems to be dog shit. Getting these books from the shop is more resin efficient than getting them via the normal way that you would via the domains at AR45. However, let's talk about this crown and there's not much to say about it, right? So you can only purchase one of these crowns and it's at 110. This crown is used for talent ascensions at way higher levels. I'm talking like the 10s, 11s, etc. As far as we know, these crowns can only be obtained via event such as this. A lot of gadgets like to start up trickling this kind of currency down to you but I I would say within six months to a year or something we're probably going to be seeing more crowns over time so I guess don't worry too much and if they don't don't come back and flame me please but yeah this is like the end game grind so you got to stick on the events if you want to fully max out a character. With that being said though, I don't think you'll need a fully maxed characters for endgame content. So endgame content right now is Abyss and that's kind of it. A lot of people have cleared the Abyss with just like 4 stars and 4 stars, level 80, level 80 weapons, level 6 talents and then between 6 to 9 you're still going to be reliant on the RNG of the weekly bosses to get those weekly talent materials. Honestly, I don't think we're going to be limited by these crowns. We're probably going to be more limited by the RNG of the weekly boss drops in terms of talent ascension, that is. But otherwise, this looks like a good store. Now, there is one other thing in the store to note, and it's that you may not end up clearing the entire store because of this guy, the Mystic Enhancement Ore. So, the Mystic Enhancement Ore, you're buying one for one, right? So if you're spending 40 resin, you get 50 of the currency at AR45. 50 of these Mystic Enhancement Ores for 40 resin, it's not really that worth it. If you're lazy, yeah, you could go for it. Or if you're a completionist, yeah, you could go for it without too much detriment to your progress. I'll probably clear it just because I love clearing events fully. I know it's resin inefficient and sometimes that's just how you gotta play. But yeah, the reason is because ever since they added those NPCs that showed you where those magical crystal chunks or whatever are, right? So if I go over to Wagner, yeah, any tips on finding ore in Mondstadt? He pretty much just spams you with a bunch of locations of ore on your minimap. And if you actually go to these places, these places have so much ore there. Not just the dark blue magical ones, but also the light blue ones. And you can create those mystic enhancement stones or whatever it's called using these light blue ones, right? And if they respawn every day, then you actually have a really healthy income of them. So the second part to this equation is, do you actually need that many? For Abyss, at best, you're gonna want like eight characters, right? You're gonna want eight characters with potentially eight level 80, level 90 weapons. So I'm just a light spender, right? And I've got four level 80 weapons. I've also got 1,291 of the Mystic Enhancement Ores. I don't think it's gonna be a problem for me, and I don't think it will be a problem for you either. Again, I'm just a light spender, but what I just said, those light blue ores and the dark ores, it's all farmable. So if you are a light spender and you're resin conscious and you're like really efficiency driven, I'd recommend that you don't spend your event currency on the Mystic Enhancement Ore. That being said, if you clear out the shop anyway, I can't blame you. I'm gonna do it anyway, because <laughs> screw it. But yeah, just to recap, eight characters, you're gonna have eight level 80 weapons, a prox, level 90 weapons maybe, and eventually you're just gonna cap out, and the ore income is quite good. That's the summary. Unless you're like a madman and maxing out one star weapons, in which case, do clear out the event. So as usual guys, a short and fast one, let's summarize it. Don't have to clear out the Mystic Enhancement Ores, otherwise everything is quite resin efficient. Crown comes first, then your talent books, and then the ores. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.